Hello. Today we're going to have a look at the Autodesk Construction Cloud and how to leverage viewing 2D and 3D views from Revit files within a web browser. First of all, we need to make sure we're in the correct project, inside docs and files. And then we'll find a project folder that will actually have a Revit file in it. So here's our Revit file. Just by selecting this, we'll actually open up that file inside our web browser. Now the viewer has numerous tools that we can use. First, the orbit tool. And this does this, just this. It orbits around your model. If I use the mouse and use the wheel, it will actually zoom in. Then we can switch to pan. We could also use the mouse for this as well. The zoom window allows us to actually select an area that we'll actually zoom into. Let's just zoom back out using the wheel. And we also have this fit to view option as well. And this brings the model back to the extents. And it goes straight back into orbit. So let's use the zoom window again and select an area that we want to zoom into. The reason why I've done this is to use this first person option. By selecting this, it will actually give you the controls that are available for this first person. I tend to use the mouse an awful lot along with the arrow keys. We can turn this off so we don't get reminded of this again. We also have a little mini map that shows us exactly where we are at any particular time in the model. So if I use the arrow, we'll actually move as if we were actually walking around the model. No need to worry about walls, we can walk straight through them. So this is the first person. Now in this case, what I did was actually double clicked with a mouse to actually teleport to a particular point. We can also go back into orbit whilst we're in this position. Here, I'm actually gonna zoom back out to fit to window. Let's use the orbit to actually get around to the position on next for my next tool. So the next tool we're gonna to look at is the section. So we can actually section on the X, Y, and Z planes. We can also add these together and create a box. In this case, I'm just gonna use a Z plane. We get controls over this, so we can actually pick on the arrow and drag that sectional view to the position we want. Still using the orbit as we go. So let's just zoom into an area that we've sectioned in. If we wanted to actually change the section by the angle, we can actually use these X and Y rotation glyphs to actually manage that. So let's move to the next option, which is measure. Before we use the measure tool, it's good to have a look at the measure settings. In this case, we can see it's set to feet. So we can either set this to millimeters or meters. In this case, I'm gonna use millimeters. And we can even change the precision as we want as well. So that remembers now for the measure tool, every time we use the measure tool, we're now gonna be using millimeters. And you'll see it snaps to endpoints, corners and so on and then gives us our measurement in millimeters. We've got other options here as well. We can choose angle, or if we wanted to, we can actually calibrate. Now, if this has been a Revit model, this should be accurate. But if it was a PDF, we'd probably want to calibrate, calibrate that. In this case, I'm just gonna delete the measurement I just put on and finish that. Other options we've got here are settings. This changes a few settings for configuration, navigation, appearance, and environment. We've also got properties. This will give us the properties of anything inside the model that we select. So if we actually select one of the items in this model, you'll see the properties for that particular item. Let's just choose the floor, for instance, and you can actually see there it says floor, and it gives us all the information we need directly from the Revit model. We turn the properties off, that box just disappears. Along with the 3D view, we'll also have two dimensional sheets. If we select this icon at the top here, we can see there's our 3D view that we're looking at at the moment. And these are the 2D sheets that have come across with the model. 
So let's select one of these. Now you'll see slightly different tools available, mainly the orbits does bit because this is just a 2D sheet. But again, I can actually zoom in using my mouth, mouse and I can pan. We now get a nice little mini map that shows us exactly where we are within that whole sheet. We also get markup tools available for us as well. So in this case, let's put a revision cloud here. Once we've selected a revision cloud, we can either edit it or we can publish it. So this means that everyone else in the project can actually see that revision cloud. So this is 2D and 3D viewing of Revit files.